How's it going, everybody? Hope you all are having a happy Thursday. It is Mark Mac Attack, and we are back with another NASCAR Heat 5 Next Gen Career Mode video. And today we got race number 11 of the season at Dover International Speedway in the Dry Dean 400. So it's been a couple days since we've done a video. Uh, last race was at Talladega. Able to get another win. Now our fifth one of the season, so we're on quite a heater as of late. And, uh,. Here's we can look at the point standings thus far. We have a really commanding lead uh, in the points over Kyle Busch, who is sitting in second, with Chase Elliott third, Alex Bowman fourth, and Joey Logano rounds out the top five. So again, off to a great start. And now we're officially a third of the way through the season. Um, so looking to continue the uh, looking to continue the momentum here going into uh, Dover today. So hopefully we will continue that. Here are the settings that we use as always. Again, Legend Difficulty, which is the hardest experience available. Full damage, 25%. Race length, times four tire wear and fuel. With, with uh, relaxed cautions and stages are on as well. But yeah, I got 100 laps here at Dover today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we are going to get started. Uh, before we get into today's video as well, need you guys to do me a quick favor if you haven't already please hit that little red subscribe button uh, subscribe to the channel uh, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed today's content and as always guys thank you guys uh, for the the just the overall continued support um, we're getting really really close to 900 subscribers I think last I checked like earlier today I think we were at 891 uh, total subscribers so thank you to everyone who is subscribed uh, Trying to get to the, at least that 900 mark uh, as far as subscribers, so we only need nine more. So if you haven't subscribed again, please do so. And uh, I appreciate it a lot. I appreciate all the support from everybody uh, through all these years. So thank you guys as always. Uh, but uh, all right, we are loaded up. Uh, what we're going to do as always, we are going to skip practice and skip qualifying as well. And uh, we're going to go right into the race. We're going to start in the rear. And uh, we are going to see if we can work our way to the front. Let's see who is going to uh, tackle the Monster Mile today here at Dover. And who's going to bring that, that trophy home today with Miles the Monster on top of it. So let's see right. what we can do here. Here's we head to the Geico Restart Zone. Green flag is out. We are underway here. Race number 11 of the season here in the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. Looks like Ross Chastain got the pole. He'll be leading the field down to turn number one. So we got 18 laps here in stage number one, a very short stage. And I don't believe we'll have to pit. We'll have to keep an eye on it, but I don't believe we'll have to pit this stage. Although I do know that the fuel burns off a lot more at this track, so we might have to pit, but we'll have to see, though. We'll keep an eye on it. But uh, anyways, working lap two now. Uh, of stage number one, we're four wide. Not a good idea, hardly ever at Dover, but we made it work. And we're moving pretty quickly. We just got to get past these slow cars here. Trying not to get into them either. There we go. Really good start for the outside of the 78 here. And we've already cracked the top 30 through two laps, so we got a really good car. I can already tell it's going to be a good day, I believe. Uh, looks like Kyle Larson is in the lead. Looks like he got around the one in Chastain, so Kyle Larson is the new leader. I don't, I can't remember quite how we ran here last year. I think we kind of struggled a little bit when we were in the, with Spire Motorsports. Again, a, a much lower team, um, but that just doesn't have a, the speed as we do now in RCR. But so far, we look really good. Car's a little tight. It's a little tight, and it's a little squirrely, so I'm going to make some adjustments here, definitely, uh, on our first pit stop of the day when that time comes, but uh, overall, the car's okay. It's definitely got some speed to it. Now we just got to get the handling right on it. I got to get back down to the bottom. The high side's not the place to be today. Give 31 and Justin Haley a little bit of a push as we're inside the number 16 of AJ Almendinger, and now we're past him and inside the 77 Atlanta Castle and we'll get the pass done so up to 27th still a pretty clean start haven't got any damage or anything on the car we're still still clean as a whistle so 
Really, really good start, but now we're starting to get into some of our rivals here. 21 Harris of Burton right in front of us is a rival. And I believe the 23 of Bubba Wallace is a rival as well. So, gonna really be careful here. And one thing about Dover too, it's obviously a, ve a very tight, very narrow track. It's mainly one lane. Although you get two lines of racing, but the bottom is definitely the place you want to be. So, passing's very tough. Especially like now, we're getting held up by everybody. So we kind of are caught in no man's lane, if you will. So I'm going to try and be risky. We're going to go three wide. I'm getting tight, though. Yep. Yeah, tight and had to lift a little bit there. Hit the 23 of bubble loss a little bit. Okay, we got to find a way around these guys. Cause these guys are holding us up really badly. All right. We're going to send it in here underneath the 21. Uh, boy. Yep. See, since he's a rival, he kind of just tries to push us down all the way through the corner. It's kind of tough. Tough to navigate. We're just going to bulldoze our way through here, though. I was playing nice for, like, the first six laps, and now they're just holding us up. So it's time to go. Time to get around those guys. Get on moving. So, All right. <laughs> Get around the 41 here, try and get around the 62 as well. And trying to catch them and time your runs is very important too. You want to catch them as you're coming off the corner down, going down the straightaway so you're not having to get them in the corners. As I kind of got nudged there by the 23, he kind of walls us. Now we got damage and we're caught on him. Okay, we need to get away from these guys. All right, now that we're clear, now we can try and see at least what speed we got a little bit. We'll see if we can run down the 20 Christopher Bell, who's the next car in line. Although he's quite a ways away. Those guys held us up quite a bit there, so. Uh, working lap 11 of 18 in stage one. I don't think stage points are going to be a, pro a possibility now after getting held up like that by those guys. But uh, we'll set ourselves up for hopefully a, a better stage two. But... Uh, Got Joey Logano in the 22. He is the current leader. Looks like he got around the 5 of Larson, so new leader, and it is the 22 with Joey Logano. Looks like he's got a really fast car today, so it's definitely going to be one to watch out for. All right, we've caught Bell. I'm going to get around him very easily as he's around the uh, upper high line for some reason. Same with Truex, so... But should be able to get around these guys in pretty short order, hopefully. Again, not expecting stage points at stage one, but uh, at least put ourselves in a really good position for stage two to get some good stage points. So that's what we're trying to do here. We get around Truex in the 19, and we crack inside the top 20. Got a run on McDowell as well. We're going to take the run, go to the inside. Ooh, McDowell's a rival as well. Get around him quickly. And yeah, we are really tight. And one thing that even tells me that it's tight without even... Obviously, you, you can feel the car and you can feel that it's tight and it's washing up the track. But another good indicator is that right front tire. Uh, when that right front tire is wearing extensively more than the right rear... So as you can see now, the right front's at 43 and the right rear is only at 56. That motion is you're wearing out that front tire really bad, which is causing it to, to not want to turn. So and hence it's not causing it to turn which hence is making it a lot tighter which is burning a lot more rubber off so it's it's taking a lot more to turn the car so we're going to make some major adjustments I think here on this first pit stop and we're coming back to two laps to go in this stage and we only got two laps of fuel so what is going on here what's going to happen I had mentioned at the top at the beginning of the stage about fuel uh yeah, we're not going to make it. We're going to be short, I think. And I, th I think most of the field would be as well. Okay, this is going to get interesting here. Is everybody going to have to coast, or what's the... I don't know what the deal is. Okay, I hear cars in front are pitting, although it's two to go in the stage now on the last lap. So the pits are actually close. So this is going to be interesting here. As we're working the last lap, we just hit zero on our fuel. Got around uh, Suarez, but yep, there we go. We are out of fuel. I hear cars in front are pitting, but 
Yeah, they're not pitting because it's the last lap of the stage. Oh, wait, those, there's one. Yeah, but we are out of fuel. Okay, there we go. At least the stage ended there. Alrighty, that was kind of interesting there, but we at least managed to bring it home in a decent spot. We end up finishing P16 in stage number one. And here are your stage one results up at the front. Joey Logano gets the stage win with Denny Hamlin finishing second, Kyle Busch third, Kyle Larson fourth, and Brad Kozlowski rounds out the top five. As I mentioned before, we got to make some major swings at this thing. Boy, is it tight. I don't want to go too. I don't want to go too far towards too loose, but man, we got to do something about this tire wear. All right, we'll try that. We're gonna try that out. See how the car reacts to that. Hopefully those adjustments help. We'll see. But all right, we are all ready and set to go for stage number two. Here we go. Green flag. Okay, they did not go on the start there. That was pretty interesting. We made up two spots there. Although illegally, but technically you're not supposed to pass anybody before the start line. But oh, we go through turns number one and two. The car got really tight. And I kind of got bumped too in the process of being tight. Okay, we're still getting bumped. Yep, there's a 19 giving us a shove. Not an ideal restart. Got to get down to this bottom here. All right, there we go. Just settle in here. Got rear end damage, so it's going to make the car looser, especially in the back end. But it is a much longer stage to say 37 laps, so I think actually. A couple of pit stops might even be in order. I know at least one and possibly two. As the 99 gives us a huge shove and it makes us get in the name of Chase Elliott. Man, we're just getting kind of pinballed at the moment. I'm gonna force the issue here, three wide. The car just does not turn, wow. Wow, oh, and then the 99 of Suarez gets into us. Oh, big wreck. Oh, big wreck, big wreck, big wreck, big wreck. Wow. Okay. Caution is out. Wow. Man. <laughs> the car is still really tight. The car is still really tight, and then you're getting hit by those guys. You're getting hit by your rivals, and it just... It don't work. <laughs> you can't get hit at this track and moved up the track, because the car is not going to turn. So, all right, let's take a bigger swing at this thing. I'm going to pit. Go off sequence here. We got six seconds of damage anyway, so let's pit and repair that. And we'll try and work our way back up to the front here from the back. Coming to the green, driver. All righty. Coming back to the restart zone. Green flag. So, again, we're off sequence. Uh, so we will have fresher tires at least. And... On top of it, hopefully some adjustments help, so we'll see how this all works out. Alright, let's get to the inside of the 16 Almendinger here for 31st. And I want to get past these slower cars as kind of as quickly as we can here. Let's try to sneak underneath the 44 here. Oh! Got into him there. It's all right, bump and run time, time to go. I'm gonna bump and run to 77, I guess, too. I guess that's our trademark now. There we go. Oh, we're three wide. Oop, I got caught in the 77. I didn't realize we were three wide there. But uh, all right, we're up to 28th. We're trying to wake our, make our way through here. Uh, Car feels a little bit better. It's gonna kind of get tight though, unfortunately, with the front end damage. But overall, it feels better at least than what we had it. So that's definitely a, a plus and a positive. So and everybody's kind of racing like, like a maniac, including us. We two, three wide at Dover. You would never think of as a something that would happen. I mean, they always get two wide, but three wide's very rare, and rarely does it work. <laughs> there's been a couple times there's been contact today, but we've made it work for the most part, so. Yeah, the car feels a lot better. I can finally get to turn through the center. 
and carry the speed off. I'm just gonna kind of getting hindered by our rivals here. Gonna get past Harrison Burton here, get past the 23 of Bubba Wallace as well. And we've cracked the top 20 again, so definitely coming down pit road was the right was the right call there. So I'm glad we did that, made the adjustments, and on top of it, got fresher tires. So we're in a really, really good spot here. Just get underneath McDowell. He's a rival. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. McDowell goes around. <laughs> It just there, there comes a point where I just get tired of lifting for for them chopping our nose off and I just say the heck with it <laughs> honestly I just get tired of lifting and, and having to go through with it every race you know so anymore I just don't lift so the rivals do that they're gonna get spun more than likely I hate to say it Michael McDowell but uh, you guys gotta learn your life lesson from here pretty soon but I ain't gonna put up with it but. All right, anywho, we move along here. In 19th spot, we're catching these guys very quickly, so we'll be battling here in just a short second. And try and get underneath the seven of joy, although he's occupying the bottom pretty well, so. Let's sink inside of him there. Got a little tight, caught his bumper. There we go, we timed that run very well off the two. Now we're to his inside. Going into turns three and four. All right, we are up the 18th. We gotta watch out for Truex and Suarez. They are both rivals. This could get ugly. Yep, there they go. See, they just push you and push you down. See, that's all they do, yep. That's all right, we just keep our foot in it. Eight tires turn better than four and we move on there. Do the same with Suarez here if he tries to do anything. Although I might clear him. There we go. All right. Let's try and get underneath the 51 as well. There we go. Yep, yep. We are looking good inside the top 15. Things are looking good. Looks like the 12 of Blaney's gotten around the 22 of Logano. So, new leader Ryan Blaney and... Uh, he could use a good run because he's been getting into it with us the last couple races and uh, I didn't put up with his nonsense either, much like McDowell, so uh, he needs a good race. He's had a bad couple weeks and he's looking to do that today. He, Penske overall looks really fast, especially with uh, him and Legato. Alright, we got past the 4 Harvick, but he kind of hit us and now we're tight. Uh, Rivals, rivals. Get moving. Okay, just heard from the crew chief. Got pit in the head. A couple cars might be pitting this time. Yep, there they are. Actually, quite a bit. Wow. Quite a bit coming down this time. And now the question is, we got 18 laps of fuel. They, they ran 19 laps, but the thing is there was a caution involved in between, so they were able to get a couple extra laps. So can those guys make it on fuel on without pitting again? That's the question. And it looks like a lot of people are going to pit. Yep. That's about everybody's pitted now, so the whole field's coming down pit road this time. We're going to stay out for another lap or two. And, uh, We'll come down and pick, get our four tires and fuel. And we're gonna ride out to the end of the stage. And we should be able to make it, but the question is, will the AI? All right, I think we go one more lap. We'll go one more lap and we will pit next time by here. We come a lot of the leaders off of pit road. There's our fuel light, so yep, this looks like a perfect time to pit this time by. So we will do that. We will box. I'm gonna let Briscoe. Oh, well, I was gonna let Briscoe go, but he decided to hang back. So we'll keep on moving here. I guess I gotta stay to the bottom. All right. 
slow down the 35. That was really well done. There we go. I'll take two. We'll take two full cans. Four tires. Uh, we got three seconds of damage to I repair it. <laughs> yeah, we'll repair it. Why not? Oh, I see a car smoking ahead, too. I think someone had a flat. Luckily, no caution, I don't believe so. Who was it? Was it the 51, I believe? Had a, something going on, but... Anyways, we're going to pit. We'll repair damage. Let's get it over with now. <clears throat> yep, 17.8. It's going to be a slower stop, but hey, I'd rather do it now than underneath the caution and lose a lot more positions, so... I'll get it out of the way here. Alright, here we come off of Pit Road. See where it all cycles out here. Wow, I mean, it's kind of, well, it's kind of crazy actually. We kind of ended up about right around where we were uh, before the pit stop started, so that tells me we, we can definitely gain some time on these guys coming on and off Pit Road. Because we had a, obviously a slow stop, like a 17.8, I believe I saw. And that, that was, of course, because of the damage. So we can definitely make up some time on these guys coming on and off pit road. So that's good news there. And again, we repaired our car, so it's back to 100%. Now let's see if we can uh, get inside the top 10 and at least get a couple stage points here. Here in stage 2 is we got 12 to go. And again, the question is, is can the AI make it unfueled? Because again, they had to pit a lot sooner. They didn't pit underneath the one caution with involving, involving myself and McDowell. So, uh, it's going to be tough. They're either barely going to make it or some of them or a lot of them are going to run out, I think. i just not quite sure. I know that we are good to the end. That's the good news, at least for us. We are okay. We don't have to worry about fuel. All right, moved up to 11, so we're just outside the top 10. Kurt Busch is the next car there in 11th. Let's get around the 15 of Priest, who of course is hogging the line. He's a lap car, but yeah, he's in the way. Okay, we got one simple solution to that. Oh, see, it was gonna be a nice dive bomb going on there, but he moved out of the way. He was, he got smart, so. All right, we are inside of 10 laps to go here in stage two. Still got Ryan Blaney in the lead. And, uh, yeah, again, question is fuel. Fuel, fuel, fuel will be the question here at the end of the stage. Man, I keep catching these lap cars at the worst time possible, and I can't move anywhere. But there we go. We're going around 66 to Timmy Hill there. Some of the guys in front are getting caught up by lap traffic, too, so... It'll definitely allow us to catch up a little bit. Alrighty, we got seven laps to go here. In stage number two at Dover. Oh, 42 just chopped our nose off, my guy. Not chopped our nose off, but just moved up in front of us. <laughs> He was front end damage again, of course, but I don't think it's too bad. All right, let's get around the 17 of Butcher, who's having an off day. Running 32nd, you usually don't see that out of him, but he's having some trouble today. That is for sure. Let's get underneath the 27 here, here pretty quickly. And all right, these next three cars up ahead are four position. Looks like the 45 of Kurt Busch, the 5 of Kyle Larson, and the 9 of Chase Elliott. So there are positions up for grabs. We have the fresher tires as well, and of course we're good on fuel. So we're just going hard. There's a problem ahead. Oh, you got to be kidding me. The 11 of Hamlin. 
and so we whack him as well. The 11 Hamlin just had a problem. Caution is out. And that is going to end the stage. That was worst case scenario for us. Oh, man. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, another caution. That ends stage number two here at Dover. There are your stage two results. With Ryan Blaney getting the stage win. Yeah, Brad Kozlowski finishes second. Chase Briscoe third. Joey Logano fourth. Kyle Busch finishes fifth. <laughs> and we end up one spot outside the top ten and eleventh for stage number two. For stage number two. Man, oh man. Darn it. So, that kind of stunk there. That was kind of bad luck, but... Uh, it is what it is. No stage points today, but... We'll try and, uh... Make up for it here at stage three. Green flag is out. As we almost get wrecked off the start by the 45. Let's get away from that Houdini. As he just keeps whacking us. Oh, geez. This is going to be bad, ain't it? Yep. Uh, I hate rivals. They're really annoying. I can't, I can't run my car. Like I can't get up there and compete with those guys because I'm too busy getting whacked. All damn race. Gosh. All right. Calm down. Settle in here. I need the 48 of Bowman. I'm just trying to put cars in between me and my rivals. I'm not trying to hit Bowman there. I got tight. Put as many cars between us and them clowns back there as possible of our rivals. Alright, there we go. We're finally going to clear Bowman. As we got coming back to 40 laps to go here in the race in stage 3. We're finally up with this front pack who's kind of battling. Everybody's kind of running their own different unique lines, so it's allowing us to stay here in the game. I'm gonna go underneath the two of Cindric. Hopefully we'll complete the pass here in three and four. We're still side by side. We have the preferred line and we will clear him. And we're up to eighth place. This is the highest we've been all day. So Feels nice to be up towards the front and at least battling. Now we're going to go inside the nine to Chase Elliott. Got really tight off of turn two. But a lot of these guys are running the outside. That's good news for us. That's going to allow us to hopefully make up some spots. We're going to clear Elliott. We're up to seventh. Ooh, I got really squirrely there in one and two had the lift oh boy Whew. all right back to eighth center gets around us Logano's back to the lead in the 22 he's got the six of BK Rakoslavski all over him as I hit the apron and get really bent out of shape yeah I just don't think we got the car today just, we're, we're off on handling I think speed we're we're men we're middle we don't have the the greatest speed either but it's it's our handling's very bad today. Uh, might might need to go back a little on the adjustments maybe. But uh, we're gonna hang in there. We've got 36 laps to go. All right, let's clear Elliot here. Get back up to eighth. Just trying to stay up this front pack on. And maybe on the long run, maybe the tire wear will kick in and we'll be able to maybe start picking these guys off a little bit. But I don't know if we have the car to quite do that today, but yeah. that's a wait and see kind of deal. All right, we're definitely staying with these guys now, so that's good news. Caught this pack again. No, it's, just, the, it's not the biggest thing isn't catching them. We know we can catch a lot of these guys and we can run with them. It's passing at a, at a track like this where it's so narrow. The bottom is the preferred lane, and if somebody covers the bottom, you're kind of trapped in a way. So it's just 
it's a tough track. It's 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 a really good track, I think. But and I like the track a lot. Just it's tough to tough to pass. So we're just gonna be patient. Doing a pretty good job though. We're inside of Cindric again. And there we go. We're gonna clear him up to six. As we got 32 laps to go here. Ah, I keep hitting that apron. That's what's killing us right there. Is I hit that little seam there, that apron, and it gets the car all bent out of shape. The five of Larson arrival is trying to do what every other rival does to us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a, oh, no. A car stopped. Oh, no. A car stopped on the track, and who was it? I don't know who it was, but there's no caution for that. Really? I think it was the four. Yeah, it is the 47 of Stenhouse wrecked. Stopped in the middle of one and two. It, it freaked the A out, I out. I tried to go to the inside, and I got hit into the 22 and spun. And then NASCAR decides not to throw a caution until like 20 seconds after. Oh man. We worked all that way up there and we just lost it all. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Crazy, crazy. Well, at least we're still mid pack because a lot of the pack is a lap down, so. That's good news for us at least. We're restarting 24th here on the restart as we're back on their way. And I think that's definitely taken the fuel part or the strategy part out of the equation as there's 27 laps to go. Everybody gets about 17, 18 laps in a full tank. So everybody's going to have to pit one more time and everybody will take four tires. So and that's if we go green as well too. A caution would throw a wrench into everything. And the way this race has gone, I wouldn't put it past this. I don't think we've seen our last caution today. But uh, all right, let's get back up there here. Sending it in the one and two and got tight overdriving it. Oh boy. Oh, we're getting squeezed. Burton, Burton, no, no. I'm just speechless. <laughs> I'm just speechless. I can't catch a break. Oh, my God. Wow. This race just does not, it, it just, it never surprises me how wild these races get with these AIs. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try that one more time. I'm tired of getting bullied. I'm straight gonna wreck anybody who's gonna do that from now on. Especially you, Burton, get out of the way, fraud. It just, these races, man. I get tired again, I, I get bumped up the track in, in, in the corners, it gets me. It gets me tight, of course, and then we get squeezed, and then we just get door down straight away. It's like, oh, these, uh, these ads just don't want to race, and neither do I anymore, apparently, as I just want to smash in everybody like they do to us, so I guess, I guess all gloves are off. All gloves are off, I guess. I guess it's fight till the death. Goodness. All right. Now that things are kind of calmed down, at least for the time being, we're going to try and work our way up through the through the pack again for the fourth time today, or maybe even seventh. I don't even know. I've lost I've lost track with how many times we've got sent to the back and had to go back to the front now. So. All right, we got 19 laps to go, so things are winding down. Everybody's still going to make one more pit stop as well, so. Now I'd expect the AIs to pit with some sometime between 10 to 12 to go in the race. I would expect the majority of the AI to pit, I would believe, so. But 
But it uh, looks like Brad Kozlowski is the current leader. Looks like he got around the 22 of Logano, so six car of Brad Kozlowski is leading the, the charge here. Let's try to get around another rival in the 43 of Jones. Although he's looks like he's being pretty nice. I believe the 11's arrival as well, and the 4, and the 45. I mean, it's just rivals galore. We're not going to get through these guys without them either chopping our nose off like that, getting into the side of us, wrecking us, us wrecking them. It's Something will happen here. Just stay tuned. Here, we'll just do that, get him moving. Get ourselves front end damage, but at this point, I really don't care. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, yep, yep. I knew the 11 was a rival. I knew it was super good to be true. Oh, boy. Whew. Barely kept it off that wall. We got 15 laps to go. I feel like I'm in the demolition derby today. Oh, here we go again. Yep. Underneath the four Harvick, we're getting shoved to the apron. Yep, yep. Here, let me help you. How does that not put him in the wall, Paul? Huh? We as I get pushed into one and two. Oh, oh. Fasten those seat belts. It's gonna get ugly here. Here we go. Woo. We're hanging on to it though. We're doing good. We're hanging on. Here we go. Gotta get away from these guys. Although I'm not going to get very far away when the 45 is in front of us, and he always tries to wreck us. we got to be very careful, too, because I think some of these guys are about to pit. Uh, excuse me, within the next lap or two, so... Come on, Haley, get out of the way, my guy. Oh, yep, there that goes. Yep, 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 yep. What are you handling? Nope, I ain't lifting. I ain't putting up with it. Oh, he just went flying. Hamlin's dead. He is dead. Yep. Hamlin is around, and he might be dead. I saw him go airborne. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This, I told you it was going to get ugly. Oh, my gosh. This race never fails. It never fails. Let's pit. This will be everybody's last pit stop now. That took the whole pitting out of the equation. Everybody's good to make it to the end, so it's a fight till the death. Oh, boy. All right, we got our hands full, though. Here we go, on the restart. Got Brakazowski leading, coming back to nine laps to go. And we are just gonna bulldoze. Full on, Oop. full on, just go. We're in go mode. And we aren't lifting for a soul. All right, All yep, inside the 20 of Bell there for 14th place. Got eight laps to go. Here we go. And it's going to get interesting here. Oh boy, here comes our rivals. Oh, go, Elliot, go. We're three wide here. Everybody's going. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here comes the 12 of Blingy. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yep. Okay. 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 Oh boy. Oh, we were moving so well in the damn rivals. Get out of the way, Elliot. Another rival in the 99. Yep. 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 Lit. Oh boy, that got tight. Okay, okay, this is getting ugly. Six laps to go, and it just the carnage will not end. Yep, full on demolition derby today. There goes the 99 of Suarez. He tried to hook us, and I had enough of it. Five more laps. Five to go. And this demolition derby will be over. <laughs> oh, d why are we hitting the brakes in the middle of the corner, guys? Like, what are we doing? 
you know what? No. Twelve tires turn better than four. Oh no, this is gonna get ugly. Yep. Oh, he didn't hit four of Arvik. I thought it was gonna slam us, but he didn't. Luckily, not yet at least. Bad part is we're caught on this outside now. Might have to reel Ratman this and just full on side draft him. Reverse side draft, sorry. Although it doesn't really work very well in this game compared to a lot of the old NASCAR games. But. Oh boy. All right, we're inside of Elliot. We should be able to complete the pass. And we are finally coming back to two laps to go here at Dover. Looks like Joey Logano has had the car to beat almost all day long, him in the six. Really have been the class of the field, although the six kind of fell back here at the end. He's back here in eighth, right in front of us. But uh, yeah, Logano, Team Petsky, man. They had it on today. All right, there's a guy on cross and the stripe. Find the lap here. At Dover International Speedway. If uh, if this if this race wasn't enjoying or entertaining to you guys, I don't know what is, because this was a crash derby in the half, just full on mayhem. And coming off a tier of stream four for the final time, Joy Logano gets the win here at Dover today. We end up finishing ninth, top ten. Not a great day, but not a bad day overall. So, you know, we'll take it overall at the end of the day. All right, let's go through our race results here after Dover. A one two Penske finish. Wow, Joy Logano gets the, the race victory here today with Austin Sindrick having a career day, finishing second. Chase Briscoe finishes third. Uh, Kyle Busch fourth, and Ryan Blaney rounds out the top five. With Larson, Haley, Kozlowski, Austin ninth, and Ross Chastain rounds out the top ten. Here after Dover, there's some more of your notable finishers as well, scrolling through down the rest of the field here. Yeah, it looks like Hamlin. Oh, where did Hamlin finish? I wonder where he, where was he? Oh, he was 13th. Okay, he did recover, so. Yeah, overall, crazy race. Wow. Overall, hope you guys had a, hope you guys enjoyed and had a blast. I had a blast, although I sound like I don't, but I did have a blast. Even though we got wrecked every five seconds or we were involved with something, but. Anywho, we'll move, move along here. Here are the point standings after Dover. And we still got a really commanding lead in the standings, so we're sitting really good. We got Kyle Busch in second in points. Joey Logano after winning today. Today's race at Dover is up to third. Chase Elliott fourth. And Alex Bowman rounds out the top five here after Dover. Fastest lap goes to Ryan Blaney as well. Good job to him. And we are going to go ahead and wrap things up here today. And very eventful. <laughs> that was definitely the most, I think, eventful race of the season. Uh, there's been some races that have got on the hand with the with the carnage and the wrecks and, and with our arrivals and whatnot, but that definitely tops it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, this car is definitely going in Dale Jr.'s uh, junkyard, that is for sure, so. Just a carnage all around. But uh, we added our money into our bank account. We also got the incentive contract as well, so we'll have a new one here for the next race. And next race will be a Saturday night race, so a Saturday evening race, and it is at Martinsville. So we got also a new incentive contract as well. Three top fives within the next five races. We're always going to go for the tough payout, the, the challenging uh, incentive, and because that offers the most money. So next five tracks, you can see them right there. Next up, next track will be Martinsville. Then we got Charlotte, Kansas, Michigan, and Sonoma. Actually, some very good tracks. I, I like pretty much all those tracks coming up so gonna have a good stretch of tracks coming up starting with uh, Martinsville next race and that will be race number 12 again here are the standings here in case you guys missed it here after Dover going into Martinsville so uh, should be interesting obviously Martinsville is a short track so 
if you thought the carnage was bad here, it's going to probably be really bad at Martinsville. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. That'll be uh, next race here in the career mode. So uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, we are going to go ahead and close things out here. Again, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, make sure to leave a like or a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed today's content and, and you enjoyed today's carnage as well. I should always always say that. And uh, as always, thank you guys for the continued support to the channel. Those of you who have uh, been through it thin and th uh, just absolutely appreciate it. It's uh, It means a lot. And again, if you haven't, just make sure just to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. You're subscribing to a really good channel. I try to post content as often as I can. And not only with the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode videos, but also tutorial videos for tra for the tracks, especially with the next-gen cars and also uh, with my league as well as far and, and a few other leagues I'm in as well. So there's contact coming your way left and right coming up here uh, on NASCAR Heat 5, so stay tuned for that. But uh, we're going to go ahead and close things up. This is Mark McAttack signing off. You guys have a great rest of your Thursday. Enjoy uh, the upcoming weekend. And we will catch you guys in the next video.